so you have an older computer that can only access the internet through an ethernet jack. You don't have any extra USB wireless adapters lying around and it is certainly no option to move this computer closer to your router. If you have a laptop with a wireless connection, as well as an ethernet port and some version of Windows, you should be able to share your connection with this simple trick. So now onto what you're going to need for this trick. First of all, you'll need the two computers you want to bridge together, and an ethernet cable to bridge them with. Now one of these computers will only have an ethernet jack, no wireless adapter. The second one will have both a wireless adapter and an ethernet jack, as well as a version of Windows above Windows 7 Starter. Now don't ask me why Windows 7 Starter doesn't work, it just doesn't for some reason, because the bridge connections option does not show up under the menu. I've tried it. It doesn't work for me. If it works for you, please post a video response. So what you're going to want to do, once you've found out that you have the right computers for this, click down here where you see your wireless networks, and click on Open Network and Sharing Center. Over here in the menu on the left, you'll see Change Adapter Settings. You'll click on that, and you will see all your connections. So this one over here will probably be your wireless connection. It will be the one that has the bars and is working. And you'll find the one that says local area connection and lists your ethernet adapter. If you don't know the name of it, there's probably only one. So just pick that one. Now you're going to want to click control to select both of these. And you'll right click and you'll see this option that says bridge connections. Now for some reason you need to enter your password. So I'll go ahead and do that. And once you do that, Windows will bridge your connections. You can plug in your Ethernet cable, and it should work. Now, on Windows XP, on some older machines, it doesn't work automatically, and you have to go through a wizard. Now, to get to this wizard, you go to the control panel, and then say, connect to the Internet or something. I don't know. I haven't used a Windows XP computer in a while. From there, you'll say, I connect to the Internet through another computer on my network. And then you should be good to go once you follow through with that wizard. So that's just about it for this trick. It's pretty simple. I'm surprised how many people don't know about it. But now you do, so you can go try it out. For more videos like this, you can go to my channel. Thanks for watching, and bye.